What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day and getting ready for the weekend. Just want to say I appreciate all of the support and for you guys taking the time out of your day to check out some of the snakes. So hanging out with a few of them today. This is the ghost boa, 100% heifer albino. And as you guys know, or have been around on the channel, I love the ghosts. I love the patterns on them. I like the coloring on them. And I really like all of the morphs or other uh, stuff that is mixed in with them. The motleys, the jungles, and of course the IMGs. So the IMG ghost is a little difficult to find it seems. And they are pricey. So I did find one last year. It was a little more than what I wanted to pay. And I really haven't seen one since. So uh, I mean, not that I really could have afforded it, but I have noticed looking around on Morph Market that if you hesitate on an animal, it is gone, especially depending on who the breeder is. If it's a well-known breeder, they don't last long. And, you know, sometimes you're like, well, I have quite a few, I had a few snakes in my uh, saved area on Morph Market. And I was like, well, maybe in the next couple Maybe in the next paycheck or a couple days or in a week or two, I'll, I'll purchase it. And within like a day, it's gone. <laughs> so unless you're putting down deposits, uh, they go very, very fast. So Mountain Dew is here and she's doing very well. She ate two weaned rats for me last week. Um, I have noticed that sometimes she does have a little bit of uh, dry skin or some saggy skin in her living area is very humid and she has a very nice box right there full of water where she can soak in and then she does have yard mulch so that helps with the humidity um but ever since she got sick a couple months ago which she is better now she still has those episodes where her skin looks really weird and it makes me nervous she did lose quite a bit of weights when she was sick so maybe i just need to you know, feed her twice a week until she puts the weight back on and that might fix some of the issues. But not too many people really own anacondas, so it's kind of tough to just surf the internet or ask on the forums what is going on because a lot of people don't know. But she is very um, active. She sheds well when she sheds, which I have found out. Oh, I was like, where'd the other one go? There it is. Oh, there we go. So, when they shed, I found out that anacondas don't shed very often. And even Pop-Tart down here, she probably only sheds two or three times a year. And she does eat every other week, so I don't think I'm feeding her too little. But speaking of, clean water. And that will be destroyed within a couple of hours, I guarantee it. But these ladies are curious. And she is on rats, so... Definitely a plus, and I would assume that she's healthy, pretty healthy, because she's on rats now. She was on birds for the last year. I have had her, I've had her, yeah, for, I've had her for a year. So she was definitely a bird eater for the first year. Pop-Tart was a bird eater for about six months. And I continuously hear people, um, even with older anacondas say, they'll, they eat birds, they love birds. Sometimes they might not even ever go on rats or even on rabbits. So I'm very lucky that the two that I have are now on uh, rodents. Makes things a lot easier. This girl shed out. The moon glow. Uh, perfect shed. Looking really, really nice. So she, she's a 2020. Really, really nice patterns on her tail almost a purpley color she is turning more yellow as she sheds which is what i'm seeing is pretty normal they can either go kind of a yellowy color or a white color not as yellow as the snows uh, but there's her shed looks really good oh, i'll show you guys just a comparison of these two girls right here so my jungle hypo pastel She's a 2019 and she sheds out almost every two months. It's crazy. She sheds, she sheds all the time and she's in shed right now. 
but you can see the size comparison on a she's on rats and she's still on mice but i i bet i could give her a wrap up i bet i could but anyways so i've been feeding her large mice and then she's on wrap ups um kind of maybe a little bit larger than the wrap ups in between wrap ups and a weaned and then in 2020 img uh, vpi so definitely three years apart on these snakes different ages and they all have different growths so a lot of people get nervous if their snakes are a little too small but this just goes to show you that every snake is different which is kind of cool and then i do have them on basically the same feeding schedule it's it's once a week uh very few times will i go every two weeks with them sometimes you know if they eat straight for six or seven months i might give them a week break but you know i don't do that too often and i don't fast for the winter times i know a lot of people say that they they do do that with their with their boas at any age and all ages but i just feed mine every every week on the babies and then the adults get every two to three weeks so um, I think that's really the only girl that really shed out. We saw her yesterday, the VPI jungle. And this girl looks really, really nice. Bright, bright tail, bright colors. Love the pattern all the way down her back. That's just a really clean example of the jungle on a VPI. And then the orange goes super edgy. This girl looks really really cool so gotta make sure the ghost is still hanging out i love the patterns and the colors on her and i am a huge fan of pied everything and clown everything but this girl is just a super inchy uh orange ghost which is recessive so i think if i can find another orange ghost inchy uh, i think that'd be really cool to make babies with but I have not been able to find too many of them with the Enchi. I don't need to add the Enchi, but I think if I have another copy of the Enchi, then, then that's how I could get the supers back out of her. But if I do put a, I could be totally wrong on this, if I do put a non Enchi with her, I think I could still get Enchis, but I would not get the super form. So things are a little confusing on how that stuff works. And I'm not a pro. I'm not a breeder. I'm just trying to learn and pick up here and there on a bunch of stuff. So this girl is doing very well. It's a fire and she yellow belly pied. Two years and then she can make babies. Possibly. If she wants to. So really cool. Really nice colors on her. And she's a fire so she should not dull out at all in age. And a lot of these young couple month old ball pythons are doing very well in the 70-30s. They eat every week. They shed fine if I spray them down enough. And we got the Superfly Clown in a very large hide. Um, so we have an Orange Dream Enchi Leopard Pied in shed. And so this male will possibly go to my female pie next year. We just shed out. Kind of a crazy shed. Or we'll go to this female, the black pastel pied, which is in shed. So I only have two females that will be ready next year, possibly if they want to. And then the one male. And then my other male is. Where is my other male? Oh, it's over here. So, kind of got to figure out what combos would go the best with on both of these males. And this is the male mahogany. So, I cannot afford a female. So, I figured I'd pick up a male. And next year, I could try to make females. And even if it makes more males, it's not a big deal. So, really, really nice patterns on this one. So, this might go to the regular pied. And I'd get 50-50 regular pieds, 50-50, uh, well half would be regular and half would be mahogany's. Or put it in the black pastel and try to hit a single 
um, black pastel mahogany pipe. And you're going exactly where Pop-Tart goes all the time. I don't want you to go behind the eight foot cage. Uh, so yeah, that's really it guys. Uh, just a little, little bit of an update, seeing some snakes. I do have to feed all of the ball pythons. They all do eat live. So if you are curious on that, I do post that on the Patreon. Just because people on YouTube hate live feedings and YouTube itself hates live feeding. So um, yeah, I get enough hate already on the channel. I don't need any more from the live feedings. Try not to, but you know, if it's demonstration or educational, I will post one feeding here and there like I did on the banana pie because people say that you know a month old banana or a month old ball python cannot and should not eat rat pups and i just wanted to show you guys that they can and they do eat rat pups and it barely even shows a lump on them so she's doing very very well and with that hopefully you guys enjoyed it a little long today um and hopefully you guys have a great weekend i'll see you guys on the next video